Star Wars, The Old Republic, The Lost Sands, Part 4 of 5. Thousands of years before the rise of Darth Vader, the Democratic Galactic Republic and its defenders in the Jedi Order warred against the tyrannical Sith Empire. The war ended in a tense peace agreement, and in the years since, the Strategic Information Service, the Republic's official espionage agency, has sought information on what goes on inside the Empire's close borders. Together with Jedi Master Ngani Su, legendary hero, mentor to the Jedi Council, and Theron's childhood guardian, and the alien criminal Tefeth. Theron infiltrated Imperial space and discovered a monstrous machine built around the sun of the Nesla system. Unfortunately, the ship was soon surrounded by Imperials. You want to know what brings me here? Well, that's a long story. I was born during an era of peace. A simple time, if not a simple one. On Dantooine, I trained to become a Jedi, and we spoke of war as something civilization had outgrown. I was never a hero, but I did my part to protect the powerless and forgotten. I stood with the revolutionaries on Nello, and helped Mad Master Lamar V find rest. In time, I earned the title of Master myself. My greatest privilege was to teach the next generation. Then the Empire returned. I fought at first, as was my duty, but I was too old for the front lines. I retired from the battlefield at request of an old pupil. I found other ways to serve. I observed the war from afar, and when I heard we'd signed a treaty, I was called to act where the other Jedi couldn't, the prerogative of a lifelong meddler. I left behind everything to learn the price we paid for peace. I needed to know what we surrender to your kind. What's your story then? Did you always want to torture people? It's called a Sun Razor. The brainchild of Darth Mekis, inspired by ancient alien designs. It's a modern take on an old problem built to leech a star of matter and energy. Six more are under construction. We'd increase that number, but we've only located a select few solar systems that meet the requirements. Thank you for giving those up in a treaty, by the way. Water for the man, please. You need to hear what I'm saying. Peace with the Republic was the Emperor's demand, but this was the Dark Council's consolation. The Sun Razor ensures we'll never lack for resources as we did during the war. No more strip mining planets to cobble together a handful of ships. The primal forces of the galaxy are now our fuel, distilled by these engines. There's enough energy here to empower a civilization. And you're using it to build weapons. Super weapons. I'll show you. Go hide, he says. Keep quiet, he says. They'd never let you leave the system alive, stupid spy. It must be getting late. You should go home to your family. They'll be worried, even if your wife understands. The children. <laughs> Gladly, sir. Gladly. Do you remember when you started building this sun-eating abomination? You needed slaves. There were droids, of course, and Imperials to oversee. But slaves were the backbone of your labor force. Six million hard at work on every planet in the system. By the fourth shipment, I was among them. What better way for an old man to slip past the border, eh? I had come to learn why the Empire wanted the Vesla star system. My priorities quickly changed. He's already dead. Best to finish your rounds. He's already dead. I should finish my rounds. Come on. Let's clean you up. No need to look so surprised. Learning what the Empire was forcing us to assemble, plotting sabotage, sending covered messages to the Republic. They matter less now. Things come second to people, as I'm sure you'd agree. 
I lived with them for years in the shadow of your growing machines. I eased their suffering where I could, organized escapes out into the foothills. Then one day, the work was finished. We were no longer needed. We saw the strange glimmers in the sky. You turned the worlds of the Vesla system into testing grounds for your weapons. There was nothing I could do. Look outside. Any one of those vessels would have taken a decade to manufacture under ordinary circumstances. Their weapons operate on scientific principles considered theoretical until now. The energy costs would turn Coruscant and dark. But with the Sun Razor supplying power and material, we can produce two, sometimes three super weapons a year. The Empire grows stronger and more prosperous daily. All it costs is a star, and there are plenty of those to spare. Tell me, how long have you been with us? I wouldn't know. You confiscated my timepiece. Do me. 156 hours, give or take. Close enough, during which time we've interrogated your Jedi companion and dissected your astromic droid. We've learned rather a lot, but do you know why I've treated you well? I want you to understand that the longer the peace between our civilizations lasts, the more the power gap between the Empire and the Republic grows. If the war started today, you might lose with dignity. But your leaders don't have the stomach for conflict anymore. I want you to internalize those facts, and I want you to make the only rational decision. Come work for us. What place is there for me in the Empire? We know you're a strategic information service operative. That alone makes you valuable. Imperial intelligence would move mountains to bring you on staff. But I believe your talents belong directly under a Sith Lord. Imagine the rewards a Sith patron could bestow. Imagine your dreams made reality. There's one dream I'd like fulfilled. Can I have a slave brand like yours? Bored. Stupid spy. Time lock activated. User Tefeth. Security and armory access granted. He? Whole planets slaughtered. Slave colonies used for target practice. We survived the purge, stopped free outposts, and fled back to Republic space. I saved good men only to watch them die the next day, or the next. They never had a chance. <laughs> Kunari, get your hands off me. Oh! Silence, prisoner. All right, just let me. Whatever. I'm sorry, my boy. My lord. Interrogations proceed well. The Jedi Master isn't gonna show them. And as we suspected, he'd infiltrated the slave workforce before escaping. We've not yet confirmed the identity of the Azai's agent, but given time- Gani Zhao. First his students hurt me, then he infests my domain. Shall I have him executed? Finish what you started. When he has no more to say, add his body to the furnace. Yes, my lord. Captain, order the ships with hyperdrive capability out of the system. If show is spoken to the Republic, our enemies may attack. And my creations are still young. As you wish. Stupid heavy soldier. I spent years with them all for naught. I could have left those slaves behind, fled Vesla to warn the Republic, but I believe the Force put me there to comfort those people. When the last of them died, they're an eye. 
went mad for a while. I thought Darth Mech's servants waged a little war against her machines, but I knew it couldn't last. And I, I knew I acted out of spite. I didn't want to end my life in darkness, so I opened my senses and focused on the light. I saw the universal force, and I let it burn away my fear, my hate, and my mind. I didn't want to remember. After that, all I knew was that something had gone wrong and I had to get back. Theron, you should hear this, boy. If I'd done better by you, we could have worked together to save those people. You were the only student I ever failed. I thought bringing you here would make everything right. We'd make the galaxy right together. And you'd be different and I... Well, I hadn't planned on us dying in an Imperial prison. Stupid old man, compounding his errors. Forgive me for all of it. When I was five, you brought me to the planet monastery so I could learn concentration techniques. It took half a year of service to the Order of the Sacred Circle, but I learned to ignore all pain, all distractions. Never thought I needed to tune out your sentimental gibberish. I don't understand. I spent the last 12 hours rebooting my cybernetics and gaining access to prison security. Your restraints are now unlocked. Hi. Always with a plan, aren't you? Someone has to be. Careful. You're not looking your best. We need to grab our weapons and contact Tefeth. I left her a message in the ship's computer. She'd be carrying a cum link, unless she decided to switch sides. She's a child, Theron. Expect more from her, and she can surprise you. Titch, your Jedi is bleeding. Only because you're poking at my bruises. I'll be fine, I promise. We need to figure out our next move. The guards will be searching for us. We can try to escape, set up a distraction, and retake the ship. Make for the Imperial border. It would be difficult, but not of the question. We could also try to warn the Republic from here. Take control of the station's communications array. Let the eyes know what's happening. Or we can stay. You look at me like you expect an answer, but I'm too old to make these calls. We have the truth now. As for what we do with it... What are you babbling? If we start a war today, I won't live to see its end. It's you who'll face the consequences. Fair enough. Tefeth, what about you? Just want out. Don't care what else. If we don't take this chance... The Empire won't give us another. Every day that passes, we'll build more weapons and harder vessels defenses. So, here's my solution. Let's destroy the Sun Razor. In the final issue of The Lost Sons... I believe Darth Mechis is here. Take this. Your heritage. Darth Mechus. Ten generations of Jedi blood flow through my veins. Are you afraid to face me? Can Theron and company defeat Darth Mechus and her evil creations? Find out next time. <laughs>